Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a scale drawing for your gingerbread house. This scale drawing is for a model, which is a small preliminary construction or representation of your gingerbread house. So I'm going to use this scale drawing to create my model and I want my scale drawing to be half of the size of my final gingerbread house. So if I want my final gingerbread house to be 18 inches high, then I'm going to draw my scale drawing at 9 inches high. So it's a specific ratio, ratio is a fraction, a specific ratio of 1 to 2. That means every 1 inches that I draw on my plan is going to be equal to 2 inches on the final gingerbread piece. Okay, so um, for instance, if I made a shape like this, let's say this is a some shape of uh, the side of my house, and this is one inch, that means that shape is going to be, when I finally cut my final gingerbread house, it's going to be twice the size, like this. Okay, so that's a one inch to two inch ratio. Or in terms of a fraction, it would be one half. This is one half the size of this. It's also 50%. This is 50% of the size of this. This is 100% of its final size. So this is just an example. This is not what I'm going to do. Um, our gingerbread house is not going to be that small. But I'm just showing you an example of a 1 to 2 ratio. All right. So um, our idea. OK. We're going to need to make, like I said, a plan. Because you don't want to start cutting pieces of cardboard out randomly. And you'd be very frustrated because they won't fit together. And you need to really do need to plan the dimensions of what you're doing. So let's keep it simple. I know that in the beginning I said don't make just a square uh, structure. Make something with a little um, maybe a, a porch or a chimney or something. But for the sake of time, I will. You can, I will accept the square structure. If you want to go above and beyond expectations, add something extra like a porch or a chimney or a dormer or um, and one of you has a plan for a, a lighthouse. That is uh, definitely above and beyond expectations. So I'm just going to sketch out maybe the basic, um, maybe the front. I'm going to think about what I want the front of my house to look like. So. Um, I know I want it to be nine inches tall, right? So let's start. I don't know if you can see it, but this is um, what's called graph paper. And it has, it's divided up into a grid of one inch squares. And inside of these one inch squares, it's divided again into four squares. Okay, so um, I'm going to start at the bottom here, and you're going to need a pencil, a ruler, and an eraser. Actually, I'm not going to use the ruler for this part. It doesn't fit into my space here. So I'm going to start here as my base. And I'm going to count up one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is as far as I want to go for the, for the peak of my roof. Okay, and somewhere in here, 
I'm going to draw the front side of my gingerbread house. So I'm going to make it really simple just for this demonstration. So um, I'm going to draw the center line of my gingerbread house. And that means that the peak of the roof is right there. Now, you can make a, um, a kind of a regular roof that might come out like that. You can make one of those um, kind of Swiss chalet or um, Tudor style roofs that come way down like that. You can make even a roof that um, <clears throat> well let's stick with those for the demonstration. I don't want to confuse you. Okay, so I'm gonna make maybe a roof that comes down like this. I'm gonna make it come down here and try to keep you know work in full one inch increments so if you can't see my graph paper this is an inch this is an inch this is an inch, this is an inch. okay so try not to make it too complicated work in full inches or half inches and I think I'll bring it in a half an inch and let's just see what this looks like okay so if I want my house to be symmetrical, meaning symmetrical, meaning um, the same on both sides, like a mirror, then I have to calculate. Okay, this is one, two, three, four inches here from this distance to this distance, and so I need four inches over here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this corner of the roof over here needs to be the same distance from the center. And then I'll just connect the dots and actually I should be using a ruler here. Uh, now use your graph paper conservatively because um, it's very expensive. So everybody will get a couple pieces but then after that you'll have to use um if, if you if you burn through that you'll have to use a different kind of graph paper that isn't so easy to use that was actually donated to the school so okay so i'm gonna um now i can come down from here i measured half an inch here this, this is a half inch here I measured a half inch over here so um so this side is opposite of this side. Now let's see, is that the shape I want? Uh, well, maybe not if I were making it for myself. I might change my idea, but for now, for this demonstration, I think this is good enough. Okay, so, um, we know that our wall, our walls are going to be um, well, one, two, three, four inches high. Our walls are going to be four inches high. No matter what side of the building we're planning, our walls are going to be four inches high. Our roof is going to be, oh boy, my ruler doesn't fit here. I have to move this. Um, This is six and six and five eighths. But I want it to hang down a little bit. I want my roof to extend to, let's say, what would it look like if it were seven inches? No, that's too much. Okay. I think I'd like my roof to extend to about here. Okay, so now. Here. And if I extend this side, it will end here. Okay. 
Now I need to plan What's this. Yeah, you really should be using a ruler while you're doing this. I would say you must be using a ruler while you're doing this, please. All right, now I have to decide where I want my windows and my um, doors to be. Do I want my door to be in the middle, with windows on each side? How do I want this to work? Um, I kind of like the idea of having some kind of attic window up here. So let's see if I... Um, an inch right here and what if I'll try that and once again I should be using a ruler but just that my ruler doesn't really fit in here so uh, and I want a door down here plus windows so let's say where does the door look good maybe right here and so I have all these subdivisions in my graph paper that I can follow for this and if you don't like it if you don't like the size of something just um, erase it and try again so I, I think that door is kind of small so I think I'm going to adjust this here and I'm going to make the windows Let's say, perhaps, maybe I want really long windows. Let's see what that looks like. Nah. So, um, as the guy said in the video that we watched, your model is um, something for you to experiment with, okay? So, you can try anything you want cut it up it is not your finished piece so keep adjusting and um, changing it keep adjusting and changing it um, until you get it right this is your opportunity to experiment do all the dirty work here or you will have lots of problems to solve in your finished piece, which will be very frustrating. Much easier to solve your problems here than in your finished piece. Now I'm feeling like this is, something is not right here. Um, it just looks so kind of, I don't know what, but I don't know how to solve it at this very moment. Okay, so this is going to be the front, all right? Now I need to plan what it looks like from the side. Okay, so um, I know my side walls have to be four inches high. So let's just, I'm just going to turn it this way. And I'm going to measure up four inches. And once again, you would use a ruler here. And don't be afraid to change your mind. Okay, so I might want my house to be kind of long. Maybe I don't want it to be completely square. Let's see if it is uh, one. longer than this. Okay. And then I just have to decide, do I want windows in here? And I think I do. So you then have to calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Well, I'm just going to do this. Maybe I'll put a um, some kind of uh, gingerbread man here on the outside or something. So that or a shrub or a tree or a Christmas tree or something here in between. All right, so I'm going to assume that I'll, I'll make two of these. Because there's going to be one on this side and there's going to be one on this side. Now, I need to calculate the size of this roof. And I know that the roof has to be this long. Actually, I want it to be a little longer because I want it to overhang a little bit this way too. So let's just say our roof has to be, has to be this long. It has to be this long and this tall. So, um, Here's, this is a bit tricky. It's going to be whoop, 10 and a half inches wide. Six and a half inches tall. Six and a half inches high. Okay, so ten and a half inches wide. Okay, that would be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is actually a half inch here. So I'll go right up to the edge here. And so that's ten and a half inches wide and six and a half inches high. Okay. So, um, Okay, so this is my roof piece here. This whole piece here. Um, and I need to cut two. I'm going to go back and label this side. I need to cut two. This is the front, but the back is also going to look the same. So um, front and back. I need to cut two. Okay, so um, the only thing you need to decide next is how you're going to fit these together. So you have to decide, okay, am I going to use an L brace? Am I going to use flanges? Am I going to use um, scoring? So whatever works best for the shape that you've chosen. So of course, if you have a lighthouse that's round, you'll want to use flanges as opposed to um, L brace. So you need to also play in that as well, okay? You're gonna be cutting this out of um, either um, tag board or poster board. And this is, that means it's not as gonna be as thick as, as construction. Uh, sorry, um, corrugated cardboard. 
So just keep that in mind. Corrugated cardboard will be thicker and it will be a little different, but um, we'll deal with that uh, in the next step. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.